Folks, this is an abandoned marina right behind me. We are about to take my GoPro right here, tie it to my fishing line, and we're gonna drop it all through this abandoned marina, and we're gonna see what's hanging out down there, and then whatever we see, we're gonna try to catch. So this is the most public spot ever. We are literally in the parking lot, basically, of a double-A baseball field. This is a free park. Anybody can come here and fish. You know me, I like to fish the most public, easy access spots that anyone can fish. So let's get this party started. Let's drop the GoPro, see what we can see. Then let's see if we can put some fish on the deck. First thing we notice is a lot of bait fish and we did see a mangrove snapper. Water is a little bit dirty, but it does seem to be teeming with marine life. There's definitely some nice mangroves down there and a lot of uh, looks like pipe and different stuff like that, cable. This is such a unique bottom. It's like there's just all kind of stuff down there. And what is that? That is a rip. That's not a mangrove. I don't know what type of snapper that is. If anybody knows, ooh, look at the size of those mangroves. If anybody knows what that little guy has right there, comment below, I have no clue. Dude, look at the sheep's head. It's, this place has got potential. You may catch a fish or you may find like a treasure chest or something down there. This place is pretty wild looking. Is that like an old net or something right there? It looks like a, I don't know, it looks like, like a seine net or something. This is definitely gonna have some potential to catch. There's that weird fish again. There's a mullet. Insane amount of pinfish. Pinfish may be a problem here. Okay, I was joking about a treasure chest, but y'all, what is that on the bottom? Tell me that don't look like a treasure chest. This is me dropping it on the other side, which is a little deeper. The water's a little murkier here for sure. Oh, look at that guy right there. There's a monster. Let's replay that. Here he comes. Look at the size of that fish. You can barely see him in the back. That is a giant. We gotta try to catch him. Look at those spade fish. Those are pretty cool. Hold up. Did some did somebody throw their bike over? That's a bicycle. That's, that is somebody's bicycle. They done chunked it off the Blue Wahoo Stadium. It's probably a stolen bike, honestly. Oh, there's a sheep's head. Nice. 
All right, we got to get ready and go fishing. We got to, uh, I have seen all I need to see here. I kind of know what's here. We are now going to try to catch what we saw on the GoPro. And this is a wild place. Like, all right, we're literally at a baseball field. They've got music playing and everything. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Look at this place. I mean, this is such a public place. And y'all know I like to fish like the easiest public access spots on my channel. We got to find some bait though, before we can catch these fish. And there, there's bait right there. Look at all this bait, y'all. Look at all the bait right there. I mean, that is exactly what I'm looking for. To a T. All right, that's cool. Wow, zero, dude, those baits are so smart. Holy cow, I can't believe that. Check it out. We got a bunch of greenbacks, great baits. I'm gonna take some of these baits right here and I'm just gonna start chumming. And we're gonna see if we can get these fish up into a little frenzy. Let's see if they'll come out. Oh, okay. Something coming out. Something coming out. All right. It's a lot of pinfish. I'm gonna throw it down. Let's see what let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh-huh. Some little guys popping it right now. Come on. I'm waiting. There's a lot of pinfish, but I'm waiting. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's a fish. Oh my god. Lost him. Dad come it. I lost him. Ah, that was a good fish that I lost right there. Oh man, they're getting fired up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're getting fired up. Come on. Oh, come on. Dang. They're like coming up to it and, oh, he's got it. There he is, got him, got him. First fish of the day, got him. Heck yeah. Check it out y'all, that ain't a bad little mangrove right here, first fish of the day. That is pretty cool. All right. Let's see if we can get another one. That was cool. Got us a uh, decent little fish there. Oh, they're swarming. They are everywhere now. Holy cow. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, he's on it. There is so many fish down here. I've just got to uh, keep the pinfish away. Oh, he's almost on it. Come on. Guys, there is a feeding frenzy down here. If Oh, come on. Oh, oh, daggummit. Come on. Got him, got him. There's another snapper. <laughs> Not a big one, but that's okay. <clears throat> These are right at keeper size. All right, they aren't, uh, they're definitely not I'm not gonna keep them, but that one might actually go 10 inches right there. That's just all they have to be in the state of Florida. We're gonna put on another live one right here. Ooh, what is that? That's a different species. Ooh, ooh, that one's getting fired up. Let's see if he'll get eaten. Ooh, almost, almost. They're pecking at him. There we go, got him, got him. A little guy. <laughs> that is a small mangrove right there smallest one of the day but hey we are catching fish right here i thought it was pretty cool that we could drop a gopro and be halfway successful i'm going to drop the same bait back down it is ripped to shreds but a lot of times a mangrove will hit a nasty bait like that a couple real nice ones down there if i can Ooh, they're getting fired up. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Big in, big in, come on. There's a fish. There was a fish. Oh, come here, get up, get up. <laughs> He's not the big one. <laughs> but decent little mangrove. I was, I saw one down there that was probably 15 inches, guys, and that's the one I'm trying to catch. Woo, I just got a hook in my hand there. Beautiful mangrove snapper right here. I'm gonna let him go. All right, let's go another bait right here. These fish are really fired up right now. 
if you could thin the pinfish herd out here, it would be a money mangrove spot, a money fishing spot, really. But the, there's so many pinfish that it is actually pretty difficult to uh, there's a, ooh, um, keep a bait out long enough to get one of these big fish to bite, even though there's lots of them. That is, look at this guy right here. That is nasty. If I get that one out, that's going to be a miracle. That's like the one of the nastier wind knots I've ever had for the wind not to even be blowing. That's something serious, bro. What the heck? Whoa, am I actually going to get this out? Holy cow. I think I'm going to get this out. I've definitely loosened it up a bit. <laughs> Look at there. Holy cow. I cannot believe that. So we have accomplished the goal with catching those snappers that we saw on the GoPro. Now it's time to try to catch something massive. And to do that, we need the right bait right here. This is a blue crab. We're going to drop it down on our big rod. Big blue crab going out right here. Let's make sure we got a tight drag. I'm just going to drop it down. See what happens. Kind of leave the spool open right here. We're just going to watch the line. So I'm dealing with an issue right now. We've got all these really nice crabs for bait, but we're wasting them because there are literally 10,000 pinfish down there. So every single crab that I'm dropping down to the bottom gets eaten by pinfish within 20 seconds. Even a whole blue crab. I've dropped whole blue crabs and they're eaten in 20 seconds. So I gotta change locations. Wanted to make it happen here, but there's just too many pinfish. So we have made it to our second location and check it out. We are underneath a bridge and this is a bridge that I have not fished in years. So I'm super excited to see what we're going to catch. I've caught huge drum here before, which is one reason I wanted to come just because you've got a chance to sight fish these big drum. I'm not seeing any right now. So we're going to take our little greenbacks right here, toss those out. I'm going to throw some chum out right here and just see if we can get these, uh, I don't know what's here. I'm just seeing if there's anything here. And if so, can we get them into a little uh, feeding frenzy? Oh, there's a bite, come on. I don't know if he's, oh yeah, that's a, oh yeah, dude, holy cow. That was a decent fish, what the heck? That was a decent fish, I don't know what that was. That was weird, man. Like I threw the, I threw, I, like that was a good size fish that I saw come up. I don't know what it was, but it definitely wasn't small. So that uh, gives me some hope. Oh golly, he just blew up on that bait, dude. Oh there, he's on it, come on, come on. They're blowing up on it, they can't catch it though. Well, I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of watching my line as these fish are coming up to my bait right here. Neat though, fishing an area you haven't fished and seeing some action. Oh, they got my bait. Daggum. Oh my gosh. Are those Spanish mackerel? He just cut me off. Completely cut me off. My hook is like gone. I'm wondering if that's not Spanish. And if that's the case, I'm gonna need to put on a long shank hook. I'm gonna try a long shank hook here to see, because if that's Spanish, I thought at first it was a trout, but I don't think it is. I think it may be Spanish. Which I'm fine with Spanish. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get a little bite. That's not a, definitely not anything big, but yeah, there's a little, those are like little pinfish or something messing with it. There's a, oh, that ain't a pinfish. That ain't a pinfish. Okay. Oh, man, look. Nice trout. Okay. Okay. Heck yeah. Come on up here, dude. Nice. How about that, y'all? We have not been here five minutes and we got a nice keeper trout. <laughs> and I haven't fished here in so long. Let's try to get back on another fish. That was encouraging right there. Okay. That was very encouraging. <sighs> Got us a nice keeper trout right off the bat. How about that? Got to get away from these needlefish though, man. These needlefish are fierce. He's already got it. Oh, look at this. There's so many needlefish here now. That might become a problem. Dang it, we have chummed up the needles. Ah, gummit. 
Ah, come here, dude. Look at this, guys. We just caught a needlefish. Good gracious. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. I don't know what we're working with. But he is a, uh, he's decent. Oh, exactly what I thought, y'all. Exactly what I thought. Big Spanish. Now I know why I kept getting cut off. I may not get him up unless he's hooked absolutely perfectly. But, yes, we got him. He must have been, oh, and he came off right there. Holy cow. Holy cow. Let me get him. He's in the rocks. Ah, come on. Holy cow, we got him. Check out how fat this Spanish mackerel is right here, y'all. That is super cool. I appreciate you tuning in on this adventure, and that's all I do on this channel. About every other day, I go on a different adventure, and whatever happens that day goes on the internet. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Like this video if you enjoyed it. I try to do the most basic type fishing imaginable, something that anybody can do usually very low cost that's what i enjoy doing and as you can see you can come to a place just like this on a crowded highway underneath the bridge and be successful folks if you enjoyed that video shoot me a big thumbs up everything i'm involved with linked in my description below and i'm a licensed real estate agent right here along the florida panhandle so if you're looking to buy or sell a house my information is below folks we'll catch you next time